critical path method critical path method is used to find the longest duration time of an activity in the project so the longest duration time is called as the critical path now let us see a university problem here we have a project consists of activity from a to j uh, with the immediate procedures along with the duration of the time we have to uh, find or draw the project network and we have to find the critical path and the corresponding project completion time along with the free float and the uh, total float for the uh, non-critical activities. Now let us draw the project network. Uh, we are first we have to see the uh, activities which does not have any immediate procedures. So this is a starting activity. So start with that activities. So one, they both start the simultaneous time. So A, B. 2 as well as 3. C as an immediate procedure A and B. So C after come after B, uh, A as well as B. So we don't have uh, don't have any uh, interlink. So we have to consider construct a dummy uh, activities. The C1. Then we have to draw C. Similarly, a and B um, and D comes after A and B. We already have constructed the dummy activity, so we can draw the D. E comes after B, but we have to consider, keep in mind that E also come along with H. So just draw first E. F also come along with G. So F comes after C. So can keep it in mind that. Uh, G also come, so you have to keep it in mind and draw that F. G, G and F uh, comes along with uh, um, H, so uh, we have to construct G such a way that uh, F and G joins. So G. H uh, comes after uh, um, F and G, so we already consider F and G. So H, but H comes along with uh, E, so we have to consider E, H. I comes after F and G, so I. J also comes after E and H. This is a project network diagram. We have to uh, write the duration of each product along with their names. So A4, B3, C2, D5, E6, F4, G3, H7, I4 and G2. Now we have to calculate the earliest start time as well as latest completion time. So uh, start with each activity we have to consider this is called as the earliest start time. This is the latest completion time. So for each activity, we have to calculate the earliest start time as well as earliest completion time. The formula for calculating the earliest start time, that is ESJ is equal to maximum of E S I plus D I J. Similarly, latest completion time is equal to minimum of latest um, completion time minus D I J. So, since we have to consider this as a activity, this D I J. This is this is E S I. This E S J. L, LCI and LCJ. So we have to calculate the e, uh, ES, I mean, latest start time and uh, uh, earliest start time and latest completion time using this formula. First, for each uh, activity, the starting will be 0, initial value will be 0. Next, we have to add 0 plus 4. So uh, no other incoming activities is there. So we can consider as 4. Similarly, this is a forward, I mean, uh, calculating latest start time is a forward uh, path. So, D, uh, B, 0 plus 3, again 3. Similarly, um, 4 plus 2, it is 6. 4 plus 5, it is 9. But uh, then uh, for 7, it has 2 incoming arrow. 
but we have to take the maximum value value 6 plus 4 it is 10 9 plus 3 it is 12 so that maximum value is 12 we can consider 12 as the maximum value similarly uh, 6 plus 3 it is 9 and 12 plus uh, 7 it is 19 so we have to take the maximum value that is 19 similarly uh, 12 plus uh, 4 or a 19 plus 2 19 plus 2 as in highest value that is 21 we can consider 21 now we have calculated the earliest start time we have to uh, proceed a backward path for calculating the latest completion time start with 21 so 21 the incoming i mean the uh, incoming arrow uh, the reverse path uh, calculating for 6 it is 21 minus 2 so 21 minus 2 result in 19 similarly for 7 it has two um, incoming i mean outgoing arrows so one is uh, i one is 7 so 19 minus 7 19 minus 7 result in 12 whereas 21 uh, minus 4 result in 16 16 12 we have to take the minimum value so 12 is the minimum value take 12 similarly for 12 minus 3 so we have only one uh, outgoing uh, arrow so we have to consider 12 12 minus 3 it is again 9 similarly uh, 12 minus 4 uh, it will result in uh, i mean uh, sorry 9 then we have to consider uh, uh, 3 uh, 12 uh, 19 minus 6 it is 13 then 7 uh, 12 minus 4 it is result in 8 uh, this value has again uh, 8 uh, 6 minus 2 as well as 9 minus 5 6 minus 2 it is 4 again 9 minus 5 4 so we can take any 4 so we have calculated the latest start time as well as the earliest uh, uh, I mean latest start, uh, earliest start time and the latest completion time for the network flow now we have to calculate the critical path critical path is nothing but the activity which has the same earliest start time as well as latest completion time so starting with one this has zero zero starting then um, activity two it also have four four same um, num I mean latest start time and uh, early start time and latest completion time and again uh, 5 7 19 and 21 have the uh, critical path which have the same value for both so mark that path In this network diagram, we have two critical paths. One, this path. The second one is one, the black one. The second path is but we have to uh, write the two critical paths. The two critical paths is the first one is um, A to D, D to G, G to H, H to J. The second critical path is a to D, D to G, and G to I. Calculate the path for each. From A, it is 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 2. It is 21. Whereas for this, 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4. It is 16. Critical path is nothing but the longest duration. So, 21 is greater than 16. So, 21 is the longest duration right so this comes under the critical path and this is the project completion time we have calculated the critical uh, project network critical path as well as the project completion time now we have to calculate the total float as well as the free float for the non-critical activities. We already know that the critical activities are A, D, G, H as well as J. So for all these uh, critical activities, uh, we have the free float as well as the total flow as zero. Um, otherwise, we, if, we, if you want, we can also calculate the formula.
now we have to calculate the free float and the total float for the non-critical activity. We already have uh, seen that critical activities are A, D, G, H and J. The formula for calculating free float and the total float is, uh, for free float it is, uh, J is equal to E S T means mm -hmm. earliest start time of minus earliest uh, start time of uh, I minus D I J. Whereas with uh, total float I J it is latest completion time of J minus earliest start time I minus D I J. Similarly, we have to consider this activity. It is E S I. LCI, ESJ, LC, for uh, free float, for free float, this minus this, DIJ, for uh, total float, this minus this, total float, total float, this is for free float. Now let us calculate for the, um, activities with non-critical activities B, C, D, E, I. So uh, from the network diagram for calculating uh, B, B it is from 1 to uh, 3 B. It has an activity of 3, 0, 0, 13 and 3. So the free float it is 3 minus 0 minus 3 it will be result in 0 whereas the total float is 13 minus uh, 0 minus 3 which will result in 10 so we are going to write it as free float it is 0 total float is 10 for the non critical activity i mean for the critical activities the free float as well as the total float will always be 0 if we calculate also we will result in 0 The next one is C. This from the C this is the activity. So 2 to 4. C does 2. 4, 4. 8 and 6. Free float it is 6 minus 4 minus 2. It is 0. For total float it is. 8 minus 4 minus 2 it is 2 so free float it is 0 but total float it is 2 similarly we have to calculate for each activities that is non critical activity e f and i for e it is uh, 10 10 for f it is uh, 2 2 and for i it is 5 and 5 thus we have already calculated for the project diagram, the critical path, the project completion time, the project completion time, as well as the free float and the total float for the non-critical activity. Thank you.